Are you ready for calendar time? Good! Then sing with me! Sunday, Monday, what comes next? Tuesday, Wednesday, you know the rest. Thursday and Friday is nearly the end until Saturday. Start of the weekend. Yeah! In January and February, we're starting the year. March and April, spring is here. July and August We're soaking up the sun Autumn breeze in September And October too November, remember thankfulness And December The year is through It's calendar time Today is Wednesday, March 10th, 2021 Today is somebody's birthday. Today is Michaela's birthday. Michaela lives in Indiana. Let's sing to Michaela. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Michaela. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Michaela. I hope you have a wonderful day. Do you know what yesterday was? Yesterday was Tuesday, March 9th, 2021. What about tomorrow? What will tomorrow be? Tomorrow will be Thursday, March 11th, 2021. Let's count down from the number 10 together. 10, 9, 8, 7. Let's count up from the number 10 together. 10, 11, 12, 13. Our number today is the number 10. It's the 10th day of March. Is 10 an odd or an even number? Remember, when we have a number that's two digits long, we look at the second digit and see if that number is odd or even. Then we know whether the two digit number is odd or even. 10 is a one and a zero. Those are the two digits. The second digit, the second number is zero. So we think about zero and that will tell us whether 10 is odd or even. Let's say our rhyme. Zero, two, four, six, eight. I love even numbers, they're great. One, three, five, seven, nine. I like odd numbers all the time. Did you hear the number zero? I did. Zero is an even number, so 10 is also an even number. What's one less than 10? That's 10 minus one. One less than 10 is the number right before 10 on the hundreds chart. The number right before 10 is nine. What's one more than 10? That's 10 plus one. That's the number right after 10 on the hundreds chart. One more than 10 is 11. We don't have 10 less than 10 on our hundreds chart, but we do have 10 more than 10. 10 more than 10 is 10 plus 10. 10 more is the number right below. That's 20. Great job with the hundreds chart today. Are you ready to make some change? How can we make 10 cents with change? Do you want to use pennies? 
Pennies are worth one cent. Let's count to ten cents with pennies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pennies. Ten cents. That's a lot of pennies. Could we make ten cents using only one coin? Yes, we can. What coin is worth ten cents? A dime is. One dime. Ten cents. That's an easy way to make ten cents using just one coin. What's the weather like where you are today? I'm having another sunny day. Let's add sunny to our pictograph. I'm drawing another sun above sunny. That's seven sunny days of calendar time we've had in January, February, and March. We've had more sunny days than any other type of weather. Are you ready to add to our doodle bug? 58 days of calendar time. Let's count by ones. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight. Let's count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight, forty, forty-two, forty-four, forty-six, forty-eight, fifty, fifty-two, fifty-four, fifty-six, fifty-eight. Let's count by fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five. Let's count by sixes. Six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, thirty, thirty-six, forty-two, forty-eight, fifty-four. Let's count by tens. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. Let's count by twenty-fives. Twenty-five, fifty. Let's add a straw. One more straw. Let's count them. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty straws in groups of ten. Five groups of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
Eight. Eight straws all by themselves. Fifty straws in groups of ten. Eight straws in groups of one makes fifty-eight. Fifty-eight straws and fifty-eight days of calendar time. Let's see what happened today in history. This is Alexander Graham Bell. On March 10th, 1876, Alexander Graham Bell was heard for the first time through his new invention, the telephone. People were amazed at this invention that made it possible to talk to people in a different room or even a different city. The telephone has improved and now we can talk to people who are on the other side of the world. In 1876, they were surprised that you could talk to someone on a telephone. Nowadays, sometimes we take that for granted. That means that we don't appreciate that we can talk to someone on a telephone. My family lives very far away, and if I want to talk to them, I have to use a telephone. I am glad that we have telephones so that I can talk to my family every day, even though they live miles and miles and miles away. I wonder if today, Wednesday, March 10th, 2021, we can appreciate that we can have telephones and talk to people a long ways away. Go check the calendar and you can say what month it is and the day.